didn't see you there. Guess it's time for another episode of What to Watch with Spencer Heyman. Nice PJ, Spencer. Yeah, uh, I'm too lazy to put on actual clothes, and Taylor really likes to remind me of that clip, so. Yeah, this is the episode for November, and if you haven't seen the segment from last month, this is the series where I tell you the biggest and most anticipated films, series, and possibly even games of the month. And I'm not going to do any more rambling on other than that, because the last time... The so yeah, getting started, the first film we have of the month, which will be releasing on November the 5th, is Marvel Studios Eternals. Eternals, if you don't know who they are, because I frankly didn't, are a group of superpowered individuals who live for eternity. The Eternals were created by the Celestials, who are basically gods the size of planets. This film will be released on November, the f November 5th, 2021, and will be rated PG-13. Next up is the third film in the long-awaited series, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters Afterlife, as it is officially called. Ghostbusters Afterlife is a direct sequel to Ghostbusters 2, since most people just kind of want to forget the one from 2016. And this film will star Finn Wolfhard, which is kind of funny if you've seen Stranger Things Season 2. Uh, it will star... McKenna Grace, Carrie Coon, and the lovable Paul Rudd. The film will also, of course, star cameos and small roles for the original Ghostbusters and the cast of the original movie. Fun fact, the director of this film, Jason Reitman, is the son of the director of the first two films, Ivan Reitman. This film will be released on November 19th, 2021. It will be rated PG-13. Last but not least for this month is a series I have been waiting a long time to see about one of my favorite Avengers who I do think is very underrated. A uh, mixture of these two guys, the haircut and hair color of this guy, but the costume of this guy. Marvel Studios Hawkeye. Hawkeye is the first series I will be talking about in this segment, and is the and he is the last original Avenger not to have his own adventure, which of course this is. Hawkeye has since been retired again since Avengers Endgame to live his live with his wife and kids now, and he's now deaf and retired which death is kind of random, but it's from the comics, so whatever. Um, he is forced to come out of retirement when he sees someone in the Ronin suit, which brings him back to his dark time during the blimp and, and sets out to stop this imposter. This imposter turns out to be Kate Bishop, played by Haley Steinfeld, and begins to train her to be Hawkeye and defeat some bad guys all before Christmas. This series will be six episodes long, and the first two episodes will be available on November 24th on Disney+. Plus. Last but not least, if you forget, this series will also star Lucky the Dog, everyone's favorite pizza dog. Anyway, that's all for my show. Tune in next month to the month of Spider-Man, clones, karate, and whoa's. Goodbye.